this is the calm before the storm, before the surge. And when it comes, and it will come, never will so many ask so much of so few. We'll do all that we can to support them. We all need to take steps to reduce close human contact. That's how the virus is spread. Not just at public gatherings or in public places, but also in our own homes, places of leisure and places of work. Large public gatherings are cancelled. All pubs and bars are shut. And we've asked people to curtail or cancel social gatherings like parties, weddings and other celebrations. I know these choices won't be easy, but they are necessary. For those who've lost their jobs and had their incomes reduced, there will be help and understanding from those who can give it, particularly the banks, government bodies and utilities. Many of you want to know when this will be over. The truth is, we just don't know yet. This emergency is likely to go on well beyond March 29th. It could go on for months into the summer. So we need to be sensible in the approaches we take. It will mean avoiding unnecessary journeys, shopping online from local businesses and getting things delivered rather than physically going to the premises. In short, we're asking people to come together as a nation by staying apart from each other. Tonight I know many of you are feeling scared and overwhelmed. That's a normal reaction. But we will get through this and we will prevail. Tonight, on our national holiday, I want to send a message around the world. We are in this together. To the people of China, Spain and Italy, who've suffered untold heartbreak and loss, we are with you. To everyone who's lost a loved one to this virus, we are with you. To all those living in the shadow of what is to come, we are with you.